Hello and welcome to episode number 6 of the Lake Towers Park. Maybe you don't remember, maybe you do. Uh, this was a series I made, like the last video I've, uh, I made it four months ago. But I'm coming back. Uh, I was too busy to come back uh, by making the Super Nintendo World uh, recreation and with uh, real life things. But I'm going to try to uh, make a video each week uh, or, or maybe two. If I make two videos each week, that will mean uh, one is going to be uh, Lake Towers Park and the other a Super Nintendo World. If it's only one each week, uh, one week it's going to be Lake Towers Park and the other, uh, and the next week, uh, it's going to be Super Nintendo World. And I'm relatively uh, busy, also uh, now working with uh, the amazing uh, the lady designer. Uh, if you don't know her, uh, visit her channel. I'm going to link the, her channel on my on the video description. Uh, she's amazing. We are making a collaboration right now uh, on her the lady the lady Wonderland uh, theme park and making a dark ride based on Alice in in Wonderland, but it's based on the book and not the Disney movie. And I'm making like the the sculptures, the animatronics from the dark ride, and I'm helping her with some of the things there. But uh, it's basically her idea, so props, uh, major props to her, and also major props because uh, welcome to the new subscribers. There's been like from yesterday uh, when we posted the video. There's been like uh, 150 new subscribers. I'm super thankful for the lady uh, th uh, because of that. And um, I want to 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 all the new people that uh, are coming to my channel, and I hope you you like my channel and, and stay a lot of time with me. Uh, it's This video, it's, uh, this park, it's about uh, making a, uh, an original work, so it's not a recreation, but some of the buildings are based on, on, my, uh, uh, on my hometown, that it's Valencia in Spain, and I will explain a little bit. This will be li like a little bit co of compilation, a little bit of summary of other videos, and because the last video was done in Alpha 3, I've changed uh, a lot of things. I had to fix a bunch of things also. Uh, and you will see, I will, I will try to describe all the, all the changes I've done to, to, the, to the, the, the park. And I'm going to uh, start the walkthrough right now. You can see that we were starting on the, on the entrance plaza. This plaza was made during uh, the first episode of the, of the series. But uh, if you if you follow the if you have to follow the series uh, the other series, I had to to rework everything again <laughs> because I lost my save. So I had to start nearly from scratch uh, dur uh, during episode three. I had to rebuild the, this entrance plaza. I had to rebuild the entrance building also, and it was some super hard job to make it as similar as possible as the as the original uh, uh, thing I created but I think uh, it, it had a better result at the end and you will see uh, the this this plaza is based on, on a real plaza that existed on my hometown it doesn't exist anymore it's in uh, it was in the in the central plaza of the of the city where the city hall is so it's in the in the downtown let's say of the of the city and because it, and it was a beautiful plaza but because of some uh, criticisms uh, and to alleviate traffic from downtown they just uh, scrapped the whole plaza and just built a normal plaza for for normal events it's not elevated like this one and that's something I really like from, from the original plaza, that it was elevated with lots of stairs and lots of Art Nouveau that the majority of the architecture you're going to see here it's Art Nouveau from uh, the, the Spanish type. Like, it's not, it's not really similar to the French Art Nouveau because it uses a lot of straight shapes and a lot of things from the Roman architecture like the, the columns and things like that, something that the French Art Nouveau is a lot more like flowery with lots of, of, of 
twisting pieces and things like that. And the Valencia one doesn't have that. But it does in some places, like for example, the light posts. And that's something you will find like in cities like in France and in Valencia. These light posts are similar to the ones from the Liberated Plaza. And there's the, in the original plaza, there was like three fountains like this one surrounding the plaza and each fountain was like a place from the Valencian community. One was based on Valencia, the other was based on Alicante and the other was based on Castellón. And the florists, and florists are a really big part of Valencian culture, uh, were actually on a shop uh, below the plaza and they didn't like that so they had they they made a lot of criticisms about that because they didn't get uh, too much sunlight for their flowers. So that's one of the of also one of the things why the the plaza was crap. But they had like a small fountain when, where they can uh, they could get water from for their flowers. And going this this part actually it's outside of the of the theme park itself. This is the ticket booths actually what we are going to see now. These are the ticket booths, and the ticket booths are based a little bit on the ticket booths of Port Aventura. It's a theme park on Spain, a really famous one. Uh, I really like, since I was small, I really liked the, the ticket booths, uh, and I remember making some models when I was small, and actually make, trying to make the the, the semicircle ticket booths, uh, ticket booths like these ones, with the wooden posts and the and the plants above the posts. And that's why it's something I wanted to, to add to my, to my park, and I think I really like it. And, okay, now talking about the entrance. So what I did with the entrance uh, was based in two parts of, of Valencia. One is the, the main entrance, like the middle middle, the big weenie, like, like Silverette would, would say. Uh, the big weenie of, of the entrance is the city hall of of Valencia. This this building is based on the city hall of Valencia, but it's not actually an one uh, one one recreation of it. It's only based on it, because for example, this diagonal, uh, it's not done by the real building. But they wanted to do like like it looked like a plaza surrounded by uh, by some buildings. So that's why I made that wall diagonal. But the middle part, it's very similar to the real thing with a uh, with a huge clock tower and, uh, and the bells. Oops, I'm sorry about that. Uh, the huge tower and actually we have a clock that moves right now because I remember in the, in the older alphas uh, the, the clock was not animated oh and actually I'm thinking yeah the bell it's the middle bell the big one is missing actually I have to add that that's that's our commander for me and you will see people that that saw the original building I made uh, didn't see the the new things I, I added I changed also the color of it uh, if you remember the older building, uh, it had this this toku, stucco yellowy color that I didn't like too much and now I, I because now we have the, the color wheel so I added uh, a little bit of, of of cream color like the real building has because it's like brownie, uh, a brownie cream color and I think it, they look right now much better also of course the art shapes uh, actually made, uh, made me um, able to make the sculptures finally and a lot of things that I've learned from Super Nintendo World from the animatronics I made there I've been uh, adding them here and for example the, the two uh, sculptures here were done uh, this week I think uh, this this one symbolizes the arts and she has like a, a painting I, I don't remember how they go it's like the, the wooden thing where you you put the, the oil paintings and this one is based on literature and that's why she has a book and of course i changed the whole shield you, if you remember it had like the dragon piece uh, from the game and now it's a real um, a real uh, bat and that bat is the like the the main animal from valencia it's yeah, well, that's why it's in the shields and it has a history with the city with the medieval sense I explained that in other in other videos and maybe it's a little bit too long to explain it again but actually it's because of the one of the kings that uh, that reconquered uh, uh, reconquered uh, 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 Valencia from the Muslims uh, there was a legend about a bat uh, 
actually telling him that the Muslims were going to attack uh, it, his camp, uh, where they were staying outside from Valencia. And thanks to the bat, uh, they won the battle. And that's why it's on the shield of the city. And for example, the uh, double L, it's double loyalty means because of the people from the city, the Christian people, of course, uh, because uh, the history is like this and Muslims, Muslims were actually persecuted when the, the city was reconquered and all that, that stuff that it's from all history books. And these are the older sculptures I made. These are, I think, think, I think these ones were the first things I made with the art ships. Uh, and they are like, well, I let them stay because I was, uh, I was, I thought it was too much work actually remake them, remaking them again. So I just left them like they were. And let's see, let's see. Okay, now we are going to the, the huge restaurant I made that it's based on the on the postal office from Valencia. It's also, the postal office building is also on the city hall plaza with the city hall, of course. And it's a beautiful building. Uh, it has a lot of sculptures outside also. Uh, it's also uh, Valencian Art Nouveau. You can see here it's written uh, Correos y Telegrafos, that it's it's something like uh, the, the telegraph from like, if you've seen Titanic, the, the, the guys that send the messages, uh, that's because the building is super old from uh, 1922, where that was used actually for communication. So that's why uh, the name of the building is Correos and Telegraphos, um, because it's postal office and, and telegrams. And of course, there's a, a clock. And uh, the sculptures you, you didn't see in the, in the original videos of, of when I made this facade, were these ones because I've made them during this week and you can see here the uh, one that means uh, it, it's based on the transportation because all these uh, figures has have like meanings different meanings and these ones uh, and this one mean uh, the transportations these two that I'm going to show right now and this one it's train so basically ground transportation with three angels and these three angels are with a boat because it's uh, sea transportation and now and the, the sculptures here in the middle of the, of the building are based on the five continents. I don't remember really well which one is based on which continent. I think this one is uh, Africa because this thing here, uh, this small thing here, it's supposedly the uh, Alexandria uh, lighthouse. And she has like an Egyptian type of helmet. I think this one is Asia, maybe? Uh, this one is of course Europe. Uh, she has like a, 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 a crown in her head, like a typical Christian crown. And I think this one is America. And this one is or Asia, uh, Asia or yeah, probably this one is Asia and this oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Now I remember. Now I remember. Okay, no. So the the this one, it's based on uh, Oceania, so Australia and all that. And the the thing he has in her hand, it's a uh, a rowing uh, uh, a thing for row, rowing the boats. And these two here, this one and this one, I think they are the. One of them is Asia and the other one is, is uh, America, but I don't know which one is, is, is which. <laughs> but yeah, uh, and of course uh, it's a restaurant and I made actually the interior of the restaurant. Uh, that was the last video I made for Alpha 3. But they've changed some, some things from, from the restaurant. You can see that you have three different uh, shops in the restaurant. And this is based actually in the real interior from the postal office, from the Valenciano postal office. That it's like an, an a, like an ellipse with a, 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 a giant clock in the middle, and like uh, three different terraces. And up there, there's supposedly it's a a, a huge uh, uh, dome, a crystal dome. But of course, we don't have crystal pieces in the game. 
So it's just transparent with some black uh, uh, things that represent the, like the beams from the <laughs> from the, the the dome and the shield. That it's one of the first things I made uh, after Alpha Three. Uh, the shield, of course, is done with the archers. This is the, the also the Valencian shield. If you can see the the bat and uh, the double L, the double L for, for double loyalty and the white and red uh, color from the Valencian <coughs> flag. I'm sorry. Uh, also, uh, this is where I started my Planet Coaster Museum stuff because I made the Bob Ross painting for, for this building and that's why I started that series also here and you can see why, why the, 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 the painting is repeated everywhere in the building. And here it's um, the, the restrooms and that they are actually uh, hidden with a corridor because I don't like, as you may know, I don't like showing the, the, the main restroom because it looks a little bit ugly and real theme parks actually use corridors to go to the restrooms. And this door I made it today and it's like a, a utility door for the, for the people working at the park. And let's go outside. This door, if imagine it could open, uh, will actually go for the, the people that work at the restaurant. Because in reality, the, in reality, this would this was, uh, I'm sorry, in reality, this will not be a self-service restaurant, but a, a sit-down restaurant. And uh, the, actually, the, the the waiters will go through that door. And oh, sorry, and go to this little terrace outside terrace if made. Uh, just now, I missed it like 30 minutes ago, I finished these small terraces with these, um, how are they called, um, these, um, these parasols uh, for Hide the Sun. I made also something that I like a little bit because a lot of people are already doing this, that I, I think it's a great idea, that's why I, I actually used it here also. Uh, with the uh, with the uh, art shapes to create one of the of the parcels, but I wanted to add a little thing that I've I've I don't think I've seen it. Maybe maybe someone has done it before me, but I've made like the the, the part below the the parcel with the the the, the stick part uh, the the wooden part uh, that closes the parcel basically. And here are some tables with the chairs, and this wall is also was done today, and what this wall. Uh, is represents basically it's like the ancient part of the of the city, uh, the the part with the, the ruins. Because I'm going to make some buildings that are ruins right now in my in my in my park, and in my city they are they are actually ruins with with the wall like falling and things like that. And that's why I added pines, and I think that that gives it a, a really natural feel, like a, a a really nice place and cozy place to stay. And this, for example, it's a, a, a little, a small door for the, the workers at the park where they can go through, through the, the gardens and go to the, behind the, the, the of course, the, the utility part of the buildings with the, the utility doors and normally that, like, where the workers go to, to work, basically, in, in the theme park with some uh, beans and things like that. And the last thing I'm going to show, the, the, this is the last thing from the, from, for the, from the video, and it's the the, the ticket booths, uh, uh, well, the information kiosks from the from the park. So when you go inside the park, that you can go through this gate or this gate here uh, through the gardens because these are going to be some gardens. This actually is going to be a huge station, a huge train station. That is a building that was not, it's not anymore in my in my city. That uh, was demolished uh, during a war with the French. I will actually explain uh, the history of, uh, about the building when I when I build it in the next time lapses, and it's going to it's it was a, a like a Muslim uh, mixed with Christian palace, and it was really beautiful. There's some gardens uh, now on where the the building was was uh, was on my city. Now there's like some beautiful gardens, but before there was like a beautiful palace, and there's like some some. Uh, not photos, of course, but there were there are some like uh, drawings of the palace and some uh, 3D models and some that the university made to represent the palace for the museums and things like that. 
and I want to try to recreate that, that building in Plant Coaster. And in this case, it's not going to be a palace, but it's going to be the train station. And here you can see like uh, the ticket, uh, no, the info, the info kiosk where you can get the park maps and all with two ATMs. Like when this is the main street road from for the park, and you're going to see like the the winnies. Uh, like this this tower is going to be like a winnie for the exterior of the park. Like if you are fr uh, coming already coming outside of the park, you're going to see that that tower at the distance. And I'm going to add some some small garden here with, with some palm trees because palm trees are really uh, something really important uh, in my city. It's a really typical uh, tree in my city. Uh, actually, the, and this building I haven't talked uh, about it in this ta in this uh, in this video, but this building is the the from the gardens where the palace was was demolished. The gardens that they built had this type of buildings and because those gardens were used uh, for an expo so they used they were real ticket booths for the expo and and i really like the the shape of them and how they are covered like right now they are covered with a lot of of, of pines and they look really uh, like a little bit in ruins but but not uh, not in a bad way and I actually like how they look, so that's why I add it as, as the ticket, as the, as the info kiosk for, for the park. And here, and the the, the city hall building, in, when you enter the park, this is going to be uh, uh, another building that it's going to be the real uh, station of the of the city. And the real station of the city is uh, it's called the uh, La Estación del Norte that it's the north station and it's really really near also of the of the city hall plaza and that's going to be also in the next time lapses and that's going to have a transport ride that doesn't exist in the game right now but i'm going to use it like i'm going to make my my transport ride even if the the guests are not going to be able to use it but i'm going to make like a tram going through the through the main street and that uh, that will be like the building where the the queue of the tram uh, is and yeah i think well i, I was building yesterday this for the for the uh, blueprint boranza but i didn't have time to finish it and this is going to be one of the this is not from my city actually this is from some photos i see i've seen oh, some some photos i've seen from from google i don't know where it's it's placed it's it's just really beautiful and it's like a bridge for a lake and the part of lake towers park it's going to have this as the one of the bridges from you can see from the lake and yeah that, that's it basically i hope you like this this compilation video uh, explaining everything on the park and i hope i can start uh, doing the stations next week so I'm glad uh, I have all those new subs, uh, so thank you for subbing uh, these last two days. And I hope you, you stay more with me. Uh, if you are not yet subscribed, uh, if you like my videos of course, you can subscribe or just give a like to the video. And I would actually love to have some opinions uh, in the comment section. Uh, because I would love to know what you what you are thinking about the park. Do you like it? Do you do you not like it? What uh, what do, uh, I'm sorry. What would you do? Uh, maybe you have some idea of of uh, future rides. I actually have a planning already in my head. I've done some drawings of about them uh, about making like a, a really old type of fairground expo with some of the new vintage rides they are going to add in the game. And I hope they, they, they are really good looking. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to, to look actually, but I hope it, it, it works when I, when I build it. So of course, uh, I hope you can, I can see you all next week. And I hope I can have a video for next week, uh, next week if I'm not too busy. Uh, and visit my channel, of course, and visit also the Lady Signers channel because I'm going to continue to collaborate with her with, uh, on the dark ride. And I hope uh, you have a nice week and uh, goodbye.